The latest Tarkov patch is here, bringing some big changes. Not just visually, but more importantly to performance. Winter is officially over, the snow is gone, and spring has arrived. BSG has also made some key rendering adjustments, tweaking flashlight and illumination effects. I think because people were choosing flashlights after they added the volumetric lighting effect. But more importantly, they disabled transparent object rendering, which should boost performance. With every recent update, it feels like FPS takes a bigger hit and hardware requirements get more and more extreme. But has BSG finally delivered a true optimization? update? Stick around to find out. Let's get into it. For these tests, I'm running a 9800X3D with a plus 200MHz boost clock override and a minus 40 undervolt, paired with an RTX 4090 and 64GB of SK Hynix ADI DDR5 at 6000CL30 with Titan secondary and tertiary timings. If you want to deep dive into my full tuning setup, check out the video linked in the upper right hand corner. I tested customs and streets both offline with no bots for baseline numbers and online for real world performance. Tests were run at 1080 and 1440 using my pure 80 optimized presets. If you're looking for the best PC and settings optimizations, be sure to check out my full optimization guide linked in the upper right hand corner and in the video description. To ensure consistency, I did three runs per test and averaged the results for comparison. Now let's get into the numbers. On customs offline in 1080, I immediately noticed a massive performance boost compared to the previous patch. Average FPS jumped from 183 to 303 around the new customs industrial area. That's a 65% increase. The game also felt noticeably smoother with 1% lows, improving by 66% and 0.1% lows up by 59%, eliminating the micro stutters that were present before. In 1440 offline, the gains were even more impressive. Performance more than doubled with a 117% increase in average FPS over the last patch. The biggest improvement came in frame stability. 1% lows were up by 82% and 0.1% lows saw a 99% uplift, making the game feel far less choppy, especially around the new buildings. After the expansion, customs had been running pretty poorly, but with this new update, it looks like performance is finally back where it should be on this map. Jumping into live raised, the performance gains carried over in a big way. At 1080, average FPS was 65% higher than my last test, while 1% lows improved by 48% and 0.1% lows by 42%. The difference was immediately noticeable. The game felt smooth as butter with far fewer stutters, especially around the new buildings. At 1440, the average FPS held steady near 1080 levels, hitting 169 FPS. That's a 64% increase over the previous patch. 1% lows saw a 49% boost and 0.1% lows improved by 21%. The experience was significantly smoother. Overall, Customs is running at a much higher frame rate with more consistent frame pacing, and I'm impressed by the performance improvements in this patch. Now for the real test, Streets of Tarkov. At 1080 offline, I saw a 31% increase in average FPS with 1% lows improving by 33%. But the most impressive gain was in 0.1% lows, which shot up by 71%, making gameplay feel far smoother and more consistent than before. In 1440, the improvements were even bigger. Average FPS increased by 43%, while 1% lows jumped up by 86% and 0.1% lows improved by 82%. In the last patch, the CPU bottleneck became a major issue as resolution increased, but with these optimizations, that bottleneck has loosened significantly, allowing for much better performance across the board. Jumping into live raids on streets, the performance was solid. At 1080, I saw a 28% increase in average FPS, with 1% lows improving by 26% and 0.1% lows up by 22%. One thing to note, RAM usage is still higher than in previous wipes, but at least performance has definitely improved with this latest patch. At 1440, average FPS increased by 24% compared to my last test in the previous patch with snow. 1% lows were up by 13% and 0.1% lows improved by 17%. While Streets is still one of the toughest maps to run in Tarkov, the improvements, though proportionally smaller than those on Customs, are still noticeable and I could definitely feel the difference in gameplay. So is this patch a win for performance? For me, absolutely. This is a big dub for BSG. Sure, getting new guns and item icons is nice, I guess, but what we've all been really wanting and waiting for are actual optimization improvements, and this patch delivers. Customs has always been one of the better performing maps, but the recent rework really tanked performance. Now, it seems to be back to normal. Streets, on the other hand, will always be a tough map to run due to its sheer size and complexity, but there were still noticeable improvements there too. All in all, BSG has made some solid strides in performance with this update, and I'm hopeful they'll continue to chip away and keep improving the performance of this game. Of course, results may vary depending on your hardware and settings, but if you've tested the new patch, let me know in the comments. Are you seeing better or worse performance? Also, if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more Tarkov and hardware content, including settings guides and performance breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.